What's up, this your boy Terry Kennedy. We out here in Vegas at Magic. And just getting it in on a fashion tip. We got stuff to the point to where you can wear your skaters as a t-shirt. Outside of that, we got cut and sew pieces. Everything I grew up off loving, that's everything that I am as a person. So with the brand, all I wanted to do was incorporate them type of worlds all into one. You know, so in a sense, we got stuff to wear where you can go out to the club and wear on a fashion tip. We got stuff to the point to where you can wear your skaters as a t-shirt. Outside of that, we got cut and sew pieces. With Fly Society, like I told everybody, to be fly, it's amongst you. It ain't like you gotta put something on. It ain't like you gotta look a certain way. Like, I skateboarded growing up in Long Beach, California. To everybody else, that wasn't a fly ideal. It's like you either gangbang, rap, sell drugs. That ain't fly, but in my eyes, that was fly because I still got to put on a, the cool wear, still be me and not forget who I was, where I came from, but at the same time, bring my own type of swag to it. it skateboarding first got introduced to me when I was in the eighth grade. I was playing basketball, point guard for my middle school, and my shooting guard on my team was another black kid, which you skateboarding. And I didn't know. So every day after practice, I would see him in the front of that school and he'd be skating. It influenced me because I was like, damn, you still coming up here playing basketball, hooping us up and jumping on a skateboard. Still being fly, still being who you are, still like not jeopardized. And I think that's what it is too. It's like people always like, it's a white sport. It's a white sport. Nah, it's what you bring to it. The minute I hit the park, it was like a whole nother world because I seen so many other black dudes doing it. But was still who they were as a person. They weren't like they was acting corny or being on some other stuff. And I was like, damn, this shit cool. Everybody getting along. Ain't nobody tripping on each other. Ain't nobody this, that. Everybody rocking, having a good time on the board. I'm like, it's a whole nother world for me. Because when I go home, I got to deal with the negatives. And that's what I loved about skating too. It helped me escape all that stuff that was going on in my neighborhood. And I was like, man, this is like a whole nother world. I love it. And it just became a passion and then through the blessings, it became a career. I got shot twice. Punched through the jaw. Punched through the arm right here. And that's when I was like, I'm gonna give it up. Cause I'm like, my city is just, it's gang bang gang. It's like, it's no other options. It's like you either gonna gang bang like Snoop and him, or are we gonna give, you know, it's gonna turn into, we gonna give you the drama every time you see me. Cause I got to a point where I had the box every time I come home and to the point I started leaving my skateboard at my friend house. And I would just come home and not bring my board. Cause every time I had my board, they'd get on me. People in my neighborhood would be on me, white boy, dude. Uh. But I'm like, what's so funny to me is like, how can I be a white boy when I, I grew up in the same ghetto right next to you? We ate county lunches. You know what I mean? We always on welfare. So how can I change as a person just because I got a skateboard? It was Pharrell who taught me like, man, you gotta just prosper through it. When you African-American and you're not doing ideally what an African-American do, it's just like that for you. But it was like, at the end of the day, that's nothing that you should have a grudge against because that's something you love. So prosper through, and he gave me some real words of wisdom. And from there, I said, Jeff, what's that? And he was like, just stand tall for that shit. You know, if that, how the people gangbang, you gangbang for that skateboard. And I swear I wanted to give up, man. But I was blessed to have a Pharrell in my corner at that time. I was blessed to have a grandmother in my corner like that, like, like how she is about that time. And they helped me just see through it all. And now we're here. You know, and it's a blessing. And if I tell you one thing, if I can go through it all over again, I would. Saying I knew with BET, that was the best outlet for me. To show everybody back in my neighborhood, like, you ain't got to do that. You know what I mean? Like, just be you. Nobody's saying you got to skate. Nobody's saying that. You have to play, but just be you as a person. And that's what I told BT when I first sent the the meeting with him. I said, man, just allow me to be me. And they really was like, all right, for sure. And I'm like, trust me, we're gonna win because I just want to promote what's going on and show them up, show other kids and other people that's growing up behind me and people that's around me, like to just be you. If I would have never been me, I would have never been able to sit right here and have a conversation with you. This line would have never been behind me because I would have stopped skating. And skating was my foundation for everything. So my goal in life is to reach everybody every way I can, to see, to look past the negatives, you know what I mean, and prosper. So if I gotta skate, I'm skating. If I gotta move in a fashion to do that, I'm gonna move in a fashion. If I gotta move in a music to do that, anyway, I, I just, I'm a, I wanna motivate. Before I leave this earth, I wanna motivate many people as I can. And that's all I wanna do. What's up, this your boy TK, and I wanna give a special shout out to Blow TV. Yarr! We win it.